it goes on to say the person that fears is not made in perfect love. In other words, if you succumb to your fears, you're not succumbing to God's will for your life. Can I get an amen? Amen. 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 We choose the attitudes in which we live. Mm -hmm. You can live with the attitude of possibilities or the attitude of fear. The choice is yours. Yes. I want to share with you a story from the book of Numbers, chapter 13 and 14. An incredible uh, story in Numbers, if you get the chance to read the Old Testament. This is a great illustration about the attitude of fear or the attitude of possibilities. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Moses sends out a leader from each one of the twelve tribes. Mm -hmm. And he tells them to go into the land and to scout out the land and bring back some fruit. And they go into this lush land with fruit and <coughs> the land is said was flowing with milk and honey. Mm -hmm. And they, they go and they bring back this bunch of grapes. Well, the grapes, it says they had to put it on a pole. And it took two men to carry that bunch of grapes. Now, those are some, that's some pretty, that's a lot of grapes. Okay. <laughs> that's a big old bunch. Yes. I thought about bringing grapes this morning, but I didn't. <laughs> anyway. Now, the 12 spies, or the 12 guys that go out to this other land, they see a strong people. They see a people who dwell in this land of plenty. They see a people that with, with the cities that are well equipped. Mm -hmm. And there are the tribes of Amalek and Nephilim, or giants that dwell in this land. Ten of the twelve said they were like grasshoppers. The grasshopper. <laughs> in their own sight. At least I know you're listening. <laughs> in other words, they were operating in fear. They had a really low, low, low self-esteem. They were operating in fear. They had a negative image of who they were and a negative image of, uh, image of whose they were. Yes, yes. They see stronger people as a threat. And not as a people who can help them become better. Now, put that in today's language. Many of us see that in our own lives as well. We're jealous. We're jealous of those in position, positions of authority. Or we're envious of those who are doing what we want to do. But we have not, up to this point, done it. And we have not been willing to pay the price to do it. And there is a price to pay. I didn't all of a sudden just be able to stand up here mm -hmm. and talk to you. Sharon didn't just all of a sudden become the worship leader. And, and, and so it goes. There's a price to pay. And sometimes people are not willing to pay the price because they think they look at the giants in the land. Mm -hmm. Now, they got the people all riled up. And they waited and they, and they wanted to choose a leader to take them back to Egypt. Now, doesn't that just sound so fun? Let's just go right back where we came from. Let's go back into that dysfunction. Let's just go right back into that place of security, of false security, if you will. Now, I say more fear. More fear. They were just afraid. Now, Moses and Aaron, they fell on their face. They, they, they were the leaders. I don't know about you, but man, I don't know what I'd do without being able to fall on my face. Mm -hmm. Without prayer. Mm -hmm. It's an amazing thing. And Joshua and Caleb, two of the twelve, they tore their clothes. They were, they were upset. They were sad. And they said to all the people that the land which 
which they had passed through as scouts was exceedingly good land. And if God had promised this, them this land, then God would deliver it. Yes. Now that's living in faith, my friends. That's living in the possibilities of faith. And they go on to say, however, but not if the people rebel against God. Mm -hmm. Let me read to you Numbers 14, 9 and 10, so you know that I'm not making it up. <laughs> Only do not rebel against God. Mm -hmm. Neither fear the people of the land, for they are bred for us. Their defense and their shadow of protection is removed from over them. But God is with us. Fear them not. But the entire congregation said to stone Joshua and to stone Caleb. Mm -hmm. And But then it says, but the glory of God appeared at the tent of meeting before all of Israel. Mm -hmm. And we know from reading the rest that Joshua and Caleb were not stoned. Now, sometimes fear is like that. It causes people to act out and against God because they can't see the bigger picture. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to just go back and shrink back into that place where we think we're safe. But we really aren't. We really aren't. Fear puts blinders on. Fear tightens the chains on people. Mm 